today on ranking this small business. Anne has one business, yes, but what about a second business? Today we want to talk about your other business, which you've just started here, charlottesvillefacepainting.com. So this is exciting. So yeah. tell us about this business. What's What are, you, what are your dreams for this one? So um, it's just basically in line with the makeup. Yep. Um, I noticed that there is nobody really in Charlottesville doing it. And um, there seems to be a need, I don't really know, but I do know with business experience that when there's a, a demand in a market and yep. there's no supply and you go to fill it, there's potential. Well, I did not plan to do multiple businesses in this series with you, but uh, I'm actually very excited about this one for the opportunity that it presents because I really wanted to test this thing, uh, this concept of instant verification. So yeah. Video verification, uh, we we would love to not have to do that this time around because we, we know how painful it is, but I've been hearing yeah. about some people getting instant verification. And so how do you get that? And the trick is to really establish a strong, trustworthy presence before you create your Google business profile. And so there's a few special things you have to do. So number one, create your website, then connect your website to Google Search Console and to Google Analytics. Then we're gonna build out citations across the web. So making sure that you are listed on all of the key places. And then maybe we might wait about a month and then we try to create the Google business profile. And so at this point, Google's like, okay, I know that this is a real email account. You're gonna, I think you're gonna have to use that account. Like, you know, you use YouTube with that email account, create some Google Docs with that email account, like make it a real account, like, and actually use it for stuff. Okay. So that the account itself has activity, it's connected to Search Console. Google is like, yeah, I got all the signals. I'm not gonna force you to go through video verification. You'll either get email verification or instant verification or wah wah, you might get video, but we're gonna try. We're gonna do our very best you know, to it's decide. Video, it's so cool, but it's a really interesting thing to test because I do yeah. know that there are other businesses out there. I mean, you know, what if you're an Etsy business making bracelets or, you know, whatever, you're just a small business and you're like, man, I don't have the bandwidth to go or the funds to go and create all these things. Um, yeah. You just want to try something. So this could be really interesting, I think. Yeah, it'd be a fun test. You know, it's pretty easy to actually stand up this business. Did you register it already? Yes, I registered the business downtown and it's at the same address at Charlottesville Wedding here in New Okay, perfect. Uh, so we have a business registered. We have a website domain name, but now we just got to build a website. And so I was looking around at websites and, you know, I think we just keep it super simple. And you'd already suggested yeah. this. It's just like picture at the top. We can put like the logo and name on top of that. And then we'll have a little bit of information and a contact form. Like really, what else do I we think need? I may have sent you a sample site that I liked. It's just basically, you yeah. know, a pictures, one page info, and then contact. And the contact is just phone number, name, email. That's it. Yeah, so since it's so basic, I don't, know, I don't even want to sign you up for a, a service you have to pay for. I feel like you just need this right. one page. I want like a really simple web page that's going right. to have that information. And I started using Adobe Express. I was looking at that. I looked at Dreamweaver. I used to use that back in the day to make websites. It's like an Adobe product. Um, but I think I'm going to go even simpler and I'm going to see if we can get ChatGPT to make us a web page right now because it's so simple. That would be crazy. I think it's going to work. Oh man. <laughs> Can you see this? What? So if I put the image in there, it actually would be a functional website, but I'm still going to call this a fail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I would I would try, but I think it actually does demonstrate that ChatGPT it's not great at this kind of task. If you know HTML, then it kind of gives you a starting point and then you can hack with it. But we're going to be better off using a template or a quick little website builder and then just put in your content, save that, and then put that online. I think that'll be a much better route to take than trying to get ChatGPT to do it. But we tried. It was interesting. It was fun. But yeah, I, I give up. It was definitely a fun little uh, experiment for sure. I give up. <laughs> All right. Well, we will check back in on that later. Uh, next week, we should have 
have a website ready for you, and we're going to have my good friend Aaron Weike come on the show, and he's, we're going to look at the website together, and we're going to identify any opportunities to take your conversion rate even higher. We want people, if they hit your website, they are going to be compelled to fill out that contact form, and he's got this amazing solution for your lead problem where you were missing some of them. So we'll, we'll talk about that as well. So I'm really excited about yeah, that. Don't have to go to the back office and look every day. No, no, it'll be way better. <laughs> I think you'll be thrilled about it. So we'll talk about all that next week. And so that's it for today. So thanks, Ann. We'll, we'll see you next time. Thank you, Darren. Thanks guys for joining us. Okay.